Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Stella. Are you ready for breakfast, Stella? Good morning, Splash. Are you ready for breakfast? Good morning, Simba. Are you ready for breakfast? You ready for breakfast, Simba? The cats are eating their breakfast. They are having homemade raw food with warm water mixed in and some crunchies on top. They also are getting a sprinkling of dried cat grass and a bunch of field treat. And Boo does not want to come downstairs to eat. I think he's so used to eating upstairs that he doesn't want to come downstairs. So I'm going to go give him his food in his room. And what I've been doing is I put him in his room with his food. I shut the door. Then the other cats can't eat his food. And then he's very happy like that. Here's Boo on top of the steps. Is he going to eat? Stella is my work partner today. She's sitting here on the chair next to me and I've been petting her. She's in a very weird mood this morning, like she's been nipping at me. So I don't know why, but she's not in a good mood. So what I've been doing is I've been like petting her very slowly and gently. And I was looking at the markings on top of her head and that's what I wanted to show you. You really can't see it from this angle, so I'm going to move the camera and let's see if we could see what I'm talking about. I just figured out what Stella wanted. She wants the tablet on. She hasn't had the tablet in a while. <laughs> it's just starting up and she's going after the logo on it. She can't wait. She's looking forward to watching her videos. I just put the centipedes on for Stella. Now she's happy. See what happens is she sees me staring at screens all day. And she wants to work also. So this is how Stella works. She's working right now. She said she's helping me work. There you go, Stella. Let me move it over so you have more room on the chair. Here's Simba. It's 10.30 a.m. Stella's been hanging out by this exercise wheel. Is she going to get on it? Or did she want to play with that firecracker toy? She's looking at it. You're going to get on the wheel, Stella? You're going to use it? All the other cats are napping. I don't know why she's wide awake today. I don't know, she's gonna walk away. It's 1.24 p.m. right now, and Stella has been taking a nap on the bed with Splash, and I just got to brush Splash. I saw him laying on the bed, and he let me pet him, and I had the brush on an end table, so I picked it up and I started brushing him, and he did not run away. And that was really good. Finally, after a little while, he did uh, run under the bed. And then I saw Stella and I was like, Stella, you really need to be brushed. Because she's been behaving kind of naughty today. And her fur was not looking as nice as it usually does. So Stella's getting brushed now. Remember to make brushing your cats part of a daily routine. If you can't brush them every day, try to brush them every other day. Especially now, because we are already in shedding season. Last year it was a bit later. This year it's already starting in March. 
And if you want to avoid hairballs, the more you brush your cats, the more you can avoid hairballs. And sometimes it's difficult to film while there's a brush in your hand, like a camera in one hand, a brush in the other. Okay, Stella. Okay, here's Boo. He's laying on his day sofa. Okay, Boo, I'm going to brush you. Just lay here. Lay here. Just lay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here, Boo. Okay, Boo. For some reason, he loves to do this. Like, when I brush him, he loves to brush himself at the same time. This is what I want. I want to get like a long piece of wood like this, like uh, a tree, like some dead wood, and make a cat tower out of it. That would be awesome. That would be so cool. The ground around here is kind of spongy. I don't know if it's because there's just so many leaves on it or if it's wet from the other day. Here are some trees that have fallen down. Look at how this tree is growing, the skinny tree. Like it's, it's growing up here and then completely parallel to the ground. Look how cool this is. It's like the perfect little fairy home. That's a gnome home if I've ever seen one. Look at this, what do you see? You see profile? Here's another one, look. It's a perfect little fairy house or a gnome home. I wonder who lives in there. It's about 3.30 p.m. right now. And Hydrax was meowing. So I gave him a bowl of food. It's his favorite Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. I put some water and herbs in it for him. I hope he goes and eats it. Right now he's very comfortable hanging out by the side of the house. Four PM. just gave Hydrox some tuna. It's about a quarter can of tuna with some tuna juice in it. We'll see if he eats it. He's still laying by the side of the house and he still has the uh, can of food in the bowl too.
What you doing, Stella? Stella's setting a water trap. She's laying by the two bowls of water in the kitchen. And if someone tries to drink any, she's going to bop them. Right, Stella? It's mail time. I'm here with Boo. He's sitting a few feet away from me. And the cat's got a card or a letter. So let's see what they got. Oh, look how cute. It looks like a little Boo kitten. It looks like Boo when he was a kitten, even though I never met him when he was a kitten. I don't really know what he looks like, but I think it looks like him, doesn't it? So cute with the little puppy. And this says, oh no, oh no. It says, at 8 p.m. on March 4th, 2020, my beautiful Sarah passed away at the age of 17 years and nine months from Nicole LaRue. And this is Sarah. Sarah has crossed the Rainbow Bridge. I'm so sorry. To hear that, Nicole, you have my sympathies and my condolences, but you gave Sarah an amazing life and she lived a really good life for a cat. 17 years and nine months is a really great age. And there's Sarah. Thank you so much for sharing your photos of her with us. She will be missed. Good morning, Splash. Here's Splash. He's laying in one of the round cat beds by the window this morning. Splash is watching Boo. Okay, ready? You guys ready? Good morning, Stella.
for breakfast today, the cats are having Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest. It is a fish-based canned food. I believe it's predominantly salmon. Once a week, the cats like to eat fish-based canned food, and this is what they're getting today for breakfast. They all love it. Looks like Splash is done with his already. Look at this. Simba's trying to eat off Boo's plate. All right, good job. Good job, everybody. You finish your breakfast. Hey, Splash. What you doing? You going upstairs? You're not going upstairs? Splash is afraid to go upstairs because we heard some noises coming from upstairs. I think it's just because the sun's starting to hit the side of the house. You know, it's like warming it up a bit. I think Splash might be afraid of it. It's 11 a.m. and I just gave Hydrox some baby food because he was hanging out in the bushes, but he didn't want to eat it. And then I heard him meowing and I looked outside and look who's visiting, it's Ditto. So Hydrox was meowing because Ditto was here. He wants me to put some food out for Ditto. So I just came back outside to see what's going on. Then I'm gonna go get some canned food and I'll put it outside for Ditto. How you doing, Ditto? How you doing, Ditto? How are you? You're a nice boy, Ditto. So that was a jar of beech nut chicken baby food and I put some herbs in there for Hydrox. I really wanted Hydrox to eat that. Hydrox hasn't been eating well. I haven't seen Hydrox eat over the past day or two and I don't know if it's because he's not feeling well or what, but he goes through these phases. He goes through these phases where he doesn't eat and then he eats like crazy. So right now Ditto's enjoying that. It's actually the last baby food that I have. I might have one or two of the chicken pot pies left, but I think I also have some squeeze ups. There goes Hydrox. Now Hydrox is eating some food, which is good. And this bowl has a whole can of cat food in it. Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. And here's Ditto, he's looking up here for food. 
It's on the patio, ditto, over there, near the other table. There's still a bunch of dry food in the feeder. I have to go refill the water today. It looks like Hydrox just finished everything that was in the bowl. It is 7.20 p.m. And I just gave Hydrox some homemade raw food. He's getting two duck nuggets along with water and herbs mixed in. He loves those duck nuggets. And I'm getting to the end of the bag. I honestly think I only have like two or three more duck nuggets left. So maybe tomorrow I'll go and see if I could buy another duck. And it's now 7.30 p.m. And Ditto showed up. So Hydrax started meowing again. And um, I just made a can of food. Uh, Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with water mixed in. So all of a sudden Hydrax is very hungry. So he's eating this. And I put half in this other bowl. And Ditto's eating that. So we'll see what happens. If they both finish everything, I could put another uh, can of food out. So here's what I've noticed. I've noticed that the cats outside tend to know when bad weather is coming. So tomorrow it's supposed to rain and the next day it's supposed to rain. And I've noticed that they eat more food like the day before it's supposed to rain. So I feel like the cats know when there's going to be bad weather and they kind of like just eat more food because when it's bad weather, they obviously are not gonna go out in the rain to get any food. They're just gonna stay hunkered down in wherever they're sheltered at the moment. Um, so I think that's why they're eating really big dinners. That's what I've noticed, that they will eat much larger meals before like a storm or before a rainy day. And it's supposed to rain overnight. And there's Hijack, he just finished that bowl. So I'm gonna go get another can of food. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.